Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about a, a training tip, and it has to do with stopping the threat. Uh, any of you who have been through any kind of training understand the concept of stopping the threat. Uh, in this case, I'm talking about stopping a threat with a rifle, shotgun, or a pistol. Uh, that is not already in grappling distance to you. Uh, in that case, uh, it's, it's going to be a fight. Uh, just had one of those uh, in the New York City uh, subway area this week, or last week really, where a bad guy tries to rob a, a victim in the subway. Bad guy has a gun, grappling ensues. Victim takes the gun from the bad guy and shoots the bad guy in the face, in the head, and kills him great outcome as far as I'm concerned. Now, I'm not talking about that close quarter uh, physical contact kind of distance, but I am talking about the, the concept of what is the threat? Well, the threat has to be imminent. Of course, if there's somebody that's in arm's distance, that's, that's imminent. But what about the distances that there is distance and time? So you have to make the decision uh, to determine imminence. Uh, given the distance of the person who I'm considering a threat, is it imminent that they will get to me? Can they get to me in time for it to be an imminent threat? If so, how do I stop the threat? Because now we're talking about stop the threat. How do I stop the threat? A lot of people get enamored in some of these drills that you see on YouTube or elsewhere <clears throat> where people want to take headshots, you know, and it's supposed to be center of mass, then a headshot, right? Or the El Presidente drill, two to the body, one to the head kind of thing. Um, the goal is to stop the threat. In most cases, if you go center of mass first, the arms and the legs are still functional. So that means if the person is moving toward you, they're probably going to keep moving toward you if they had that kind of intent in the first place. So how do you stop them? You want to stop them. Of course, appropriate headshot uh, will turn the switch. That is a very difficult thing to do. It's hard enough to do on paper at seven to 10 yards with a handgun. Uh, so now you have the, this target moving around on a stem, right? And you're going to try to, that's, you're not going to make that shot, right? Because they're not going to stand there and say, please shoot me in the head. If you get center of mass, <clears throat> they will probably keep coming. Unless you hit them with a shotgun, then they'll probably not keep coming. But where should you make that first shot? And I discovered this, uh, I was actually at the range one day, and I saw a guy using, uh, this was a few years ago, using a target, a full-size target that had the skeleton and the body, but it had three zones. It had the, the noggin zone, center of mass A zone, but it also had uh, the pelvic area box. I'd never seen that before. Then I'd have, I had conversations with some law enforcement people and some emergency, some ER people physicians and almost 100% would say <clears throat> those shots that the person took in the pelvic girdle, in the pelvic girdle, uh, caused so much pain and it's literally stops you from moving. Once your pelvic girdle is shattered, you, you're, you're going to drop, you're going to drop like a stone and you're going to forget about everything else that you were thinking of because the pain will be so, uh, so high. So what I train with now is my first shot, whether it's a pistol or a rifle is the pelvic girdle. Cause it does, cause if they're wearing body armor and bad guys are starting to wear body armor too, uh, if they're wearing body armor or they're just a fat fuck, right? I'm going to get them in the pelvic girdle and they're going to, it's going to shatter the pelvic area and they're going to drop like a stone. They're, even if they have a firearm or whatever in their hand, 
they're going to, they'll probably drop it in this course. They will drop it. And because they're going to be focused on their own pain, uh, they won't be dead because there are no vital organs other than uh, blood vessels. Uh, so if they're not treated quickly, they'll probably bleed out if you get the, the, uh, uh, any one of the arteries along the, along the leg or in that area. So I put that out there. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But for me now, when I train, uh, the first shots are at the pelvic girdle. The next shots are uh, head shots if they're still not going to comply because it doesn't do any good to do center of mass at that point, right? Because And you got to be careful because if they're on the ground, uh, they're not dead probably. You're not going to take any other shots, right? Because that would be extrajudicial assassination and you don't want to do that. So once the threat is stopped, they're on the ground, they're breathing in pain, they forgot about you, and you don't have to do the El Presidente on them. So that's my little tip for uh, for today. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm, I'm curious about that. And uh, as always, uh, if you subscribe to the channel, check it. Make sure you did uh, and do a... Um, uh, check on that bell icon so you get, re, you know, reminders. And as always, wherever you can, whenever you can, however you can, carry on.